Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content for you and today we are checking out Evertried. And I don't know when this might have been shown off at all, but we were checking out a trailer for something else. I don't remember what it was at this point. And it was like the recommended video that like automatically popped up at the end of the screen and the artwork, I was like, oh, that artwork, that looks cool. Is that a game? And it was like, yeah, it's an announcement trailer. And I'm like, cool, click save. And I'm going to check that out later. And so I, we're checking it out now. The only thing I know about this beyond the, the little picture that it had was, is that it is apparently an isometric tactical roguelite, which is interesting, which makes me wonder, like, isometric is, like, that be your field of view, and tactical makes me think of, like, turn-based tactical RPGs, like, think things like Shining Force, Disgaea, or, um, Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, etc. And so I'm, I'm curious if that's what this is, or if they have a different spin on what tactical means in this specific circumstance because it could just mean that it's like you know like enter the gungeon or hades or something like that where you need to be tactical in terms of like how you move and dodge and stuff but i uh i hope we find out i hope we find out i hope this isn't purely cinematic but yeah so without further ado let's begin Oh no, yep, we got a grid. Outsmart enemies in turn-based combat. Utilize positioning and hazards to trap enemies. Acquire powerful skills and customize your build. Find souls in the tower and learn more about your past. Music's pretty intense for a puzzle game. Test your strategic might against an ever-changing tower. Are tactical RPGs puzzle games? They sometimes have puzzle levels, but I don't know if they're puzzle games. Puzzle adjacent, perhaps? Puzzle esque? An active puzzle with moving parts? Alright, alright. Ever tried. Cool. So that was the announced Fall 2021. Okay. So soon. I don't believe this trailer was this old. July 20. Okay, yeah. July 20th of 2021. I do appreciate when they do... Is there anything after this? Follow Ever Tried Game on Twitter. No, okay. I do appreciate when they reveal a game and it's going to come out soon. It helps you, like, actually maintain interest in it. Because I got to admit, like, I have games on my Steam wishlist that have been on my Steam wishlist for, like, two years. And when those games come out, I probably won't care anymore. And that's unfortunate for the devs that wanted me to buy their game. <laughs> Uh, this is very indie, which is is not bad. Okay, like I I realize that I that might have come across as like a negative comment, but it is they're they're definitely working in a limited space. Coming soon and five years later, damn it, yeah, I, they're working in a very limited space. I mean, there's not it doesn't appear that there's really any exploration. You're going just straight up into a tower. Each tower is just kind of a different level made out of these, what is the seven by seven grids. It never looked like the grid got any bigger. So instead they're just trying to work with um, expanding mechanics within that seven by seven and you know, different enemies, different abilities and stuff like that. So it's very, very limited in scope, but what that actually in my opinion, what could happen when it comes to having a game that's very limited in scope is that it means that you can try really hard to focus on what you do have. Like, if, if, if you're trying to build this massive world, like if we take a look at like a critically 
a critically acclaimed game that is very large, like we'll look at like Witcher 3 or Skyrim, you spend so much time trying to fill it that you're trying to fill all this space. You're trying to fill it with things to do. And that's like a problem with a lot of Assassin's Creed games nowadays as well. It's a bunch of checkpoints. Same with like Far Cry, right? They're trying to fill it with things to do. And so it ends up becoming very muddied and everything starts to feel very bland. Whereas if you have a very catered experience that's really small like what it looks like this is trying to be i understand it's a roguelike so you're going to be doing a repetition of sorts starting from a lower level and moving up um then you know it, it might still have that problem it just kind of depends on how engaging and what kind of levels of progression that you have in a roguelike setting but it does hopefully mean that they've taken care to really make what they are working with as good and as engaging and in, as entertaining as possible uh, they, it's set on Steam, right? It's set on Steam. Okay, it is on Steam. Is it already... Can can you pre-order it? Does it have a price tag? No. It does have a demo, though. It does have a demo. Dep the, the price tag will really, I think, when, with a game like this, will make or break it really, really heavily. Because... Honestly... Would be a good Switch game, something you can easily pick up and put down. Yeah. So looking at this, looking at this, my brain says $15. Okay. I'd give it a really heavy consideration for $15. $10? Oh, yeah. $20? Mm, I'm going to put on the brakes a bit. I realize it's only a $5 difference, but it's just this matter of perception when it comes to price versus product, right? So I don't know. What did you think, though? What did you think about Ever Tried? Are you interested in this? I, this trailer, by the way, like, I don't, I'm amazed I got recommended it. This has 4,000 views. I don't know if this was shown off at, at anything. If it was shown off at, you know, the, 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 the games show or games con, no, it wouldn't be games con. That just happened. What, the summer gaming fest or whatever. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm tentatively interested. It could be a fun, just like, I don't think it'd be a game that would hold my interest for a whole lot, like an afternoon, you know, or may maybe like two afternoons. I'm like, all right, I can see where this is going. I'm good. But what did you think? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. If you'd rather keep up the conversation elsewhere, good place to do so are on Discord and Twitter. And speaking of Discord, some of the trailers, not this one, well, this one's in there, but I grabbed this one, are provided by the community, and there's a channel dedicated to it in our Discord server, as well as a good place to just hang out and chat about whatever. A game used for filling the time during travel? Yes. Yes exactly it's a good i don't know if that speaks well or not of the of what we saw though it's like ah you know i'd use it to pass the time <laughs> like i don't know uh, but you can leave your own trailers in that discord channel as well uh if you want us to check them out here on stream because we do stream four days a week tuesdays thursdays fridays and sundays and we check out trailers on tuesdays and thursdays and we'd love to have you here but we're gonna get out of here so if you do watch one of the other youtube videos or if i see you in that live stream thank you and enjoy